Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey. The Assessor is full of awesome tools and assets to help you make your own games. There's more and more awesome stuff coming out every month, so in this video let's check out some highlights for May 22. In this first video I'll be covering a list of free assets, and in the next ones I'll be covering paid assets and tools. Check out the phone playlist to see all of the highlights every month, you might find something that would be perfect for whatever game you're currently working on. Alright, so on to the top 10 list, starting off with a really nice free and low poly human character. This one contains armor sets with 64 color variations. You can use any color for body, eyes, hair and so on. So really quite a lot of variation possible just with this one free pack. And it also includes 32 humanoid animations. And of course, if you like this style, you can see everything this app has. It's made by Blink, which is one of the more prolific developers on the asset store. Then for an interesting tool, here is a procedural texture builder. It has a really nice visual editor, very much like Shadograph. You just place down some nodes, do all kinds of operations, and create some truly unique textures. Also easily lets you output color textures, some normal maps, alpha channel, and anything else you want. And of course, the result, like the name implies, is seamless. So it's perfect for any Taliban texture that you want to make, really great free asset. And up next, a nice and simple one, some Nebula skyboxes. Adding a skybox is one of those tiny things that has a huge effect. Whenever you're working on a new prototype, I definitely encourage you to take just 30 seconds to look for a skybox. There's tons of free ones and it will instantly make your game look much better. These ones would look great in pretty much any space game. Up next, another simple and useful tool for helping you make a colored hierarchy. This is one feature that I wish Unity had by default, just some way of organizing the hierarchy. You can add some groups and some colors, and this is definitely a great way to very quickly and easily organize and find objects directly in your hierarchy. Then for an interesting free demo, here's a tool for building roads and traffic. It's all procedural, so your roads can have any shape you want. Then you can set up the traffic, add cars, trucks, and so on. It can also download real-world data from anywhere on Earth. I'm not sure how that works, but it sounds really interesting. If you're working on a game that uses the Unity terrain, then check out this free pack with tons of stamps. The demo video has a cool dragon flying around and it's a great looking terrain and beach, looks very natural. These are super high quality 4K height maps. Works with the regular Unity terrain or any other of the many terrain tools that use height maps. For some fun particles, here's some fire and ice. Pretty simple and they look great, features a projectile and explosion VFX. Up next, here's an interesting tool for transferring skin mesh renders. It basically lets you change a skin mesh renderer from one bone structure to another one. If you saw my video on character customization, I talked about how this is quite a tricky process, it needs to be done very carefully or it just won't work. So this tool seems excellent for doing all of those steps correctly, although not sure if it works on non-blink assets, but since it's free, you can just give it a try. Then if you want some nice camera post-processing effects, here's a free sample. I think this free sample only includes the CCTV camera effect, but if you don't like it then the whole pack has tons more effects. Also covered how to do something like this in another video if you want to try building it yourself. And then here's a simple pack, just a bunch of 3D power-ups. If your game involves power-ups and you want some quick simple ones to prototype, then you can just pick this up. Features 10 generic symbols which can mean whatever you want in your game. Alright, so those are my top 10 free new assets on the Unity S Store for May 22. There's links to all in the description, stay tuned for the next videos covering paid assets and tools, there's lots of awesome stuff there. Check out the full playlist to see some more lists with free and paid assets, and let me know if you pick up any of these and what you intend to do. Also check out my own free and paid assets on the store. Alright, hope that's useful, check out these videos to learn some more. Thanks to these awesome Patreon supporters for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.